Hello. Well, I'm here to discuss um, <clears throat> the 1999 uh, cult classic Office Space uh, special edition with flair. Um, I actually got this at Barnes and Noble, hence why it says bromance on it. Um, this is a just a hilarious film, uh, written and directed by uh, Mike Judge, the uh, creator of uh, Beavis and Butthead and uh, King of the Hill. He also uh, appears in the movie. Um, he plays uh, uh, Jennifer Aniston's uh, boss, Stan. If you didn't know that before, if you've seen this movie, um, which I'm sure most people have, but you never know. There could be some people who enjoy this movie so much might not know that little <laughs> tidbit, but it's a really funny film. Um, really just showing how boring and sort of redundant work life is in an office, especially like a software company. Um, uh, uh, Peter Ron Levingston's character is really just tired of it. Uh, essentially, doing the same stuff every day it gets told pretty much same thing every day. And uh, yeah, he just goes to work, does whatever, and then at the end of the day, he just ups and uh, ups and goes home and just does whatever he likes to do. You know, if he likes to watch Kung Fu, we find out. Um, it's funny, he uh, goes to a psychiatrist to help him to sort of forget about his problems, like at work. And then this, he just sort of like, just, just, just like stops worrying about work and just everything, honestly. It's very interesting <laughs> it's just a it's a very funny just how one moment goes from worrying about so many things to then being hypnotized but he's not snapped out of it because you know his uh, the psychi the, the man who hypnotizes him has a heart attack and dies man <laughs> he's still affected until a certain point in the film when uh things are really falling apart it's just a hilarious film um, so much has been said about this movie already but it's 20 years old this year uh, uh, it had been a while since I had watched this movie and I, I rewatched it recently and oh man this is such an un this is incredibly funny uh, Stephen Root has milked and is just Oh, <laughs> him and his stapler and to remove him is gonna uh, so last row and burn the building down. You know, keep moving him around in the office. He used to be by the window. Saw uh, uh, two squirrels who were um, married. Uh, that character is oh boy, that what a character. Um, funny is Mike Judge even said that um, like a, <clears throat> uh, he made a short originally you know this is based off of and it just had uh, Milton and Lumber and um, you know just sort of uh, you know sort of typical sort of like a slick sleazy sort of a boss you know what's happening Tries to lull people and is like, oh, you know, just let you know this and that and whatever. Oh, I have to ask you to uh, come into work on Saturday. But some things sort of uh, fell through and got to play catch up. So, you know, we could just do that and uh, uh, be, a, that'd be a real appreciative of you. And then he, in that short, he takes uh, Milton's stapler and 
bit flummoxed by that in a way. Um, see him in here. Uh, Melvin pretty much just gets pushed around, unfortunately, and uh, until uh, it's, the, uh, it's the last straw. And well, you know, if you've seen the film, you know what happens. Um, but it's interesting just how quite accurate uh, the everyday life of a office could be. Uh, I go to a Tchotchkes uh, restaurant where Jennifer Aniston works, and who you know you also see uh, Mike Judge uh, has like a wig on and his mustache. Stan is his character's name. The interactions between uh, Ron Levingston and uh, Jennifer Aniston are always are very good. They're very good. Great. Um, Gary Cole as Lindbergh. He does a great job. Uh, David Harmon, Michael Bolton. Funny running, recurring joke is he hates Michael Bolton. Doesn't think he's uh, he doesn't think he's talented and like why should I ch change my name? He's the one who sucks. Uh, he also listens to gangster rap, which is just a funny thing to see and hear how he. Uh, this, this very white guy is in his car blasting gangsta rap on his way to work. Um, and uh, A.G. Nadu is Samir Naji Anajar, no, which is sort of a recurring joke as well. People can't rec pronounce his last name. He's like, it's not hard to pronounce. I mean, come on. But, you know, it's very, this is a very hilarious film. Uh, apparently, a certain uh, studio executives uh, weren't fond of it when they saw, like, dailies or, you know, uh, then later saw the whole film. Like, Ron Livingston seems, doesn't seem to be enthusiastic. Everything seems quite boring and dull. Can't you put anything excite, exciting in this film? When I mean, they don't realize that they, for the average person uh, working in a company like Inatech is, uh, it's quite boring and dull. Uh, you just do your work and that's it. Not much exciting happens. Uh, so just day to day, you know, doing your job here and there, and yeah, it's, it's interesting how also uh, Rod Levinson, you know, uh, Peter, as the movie goes on, and because of this hypnosis state he's under, he's sort of like, you know, the more he uh, slacks off with work, uh, he keeps getting promoted. Like better things happen for him. Meanwhile, for <laughs> Michael and Samir, things aren't very. Things don't go well. Um, you know, they get uh, spoiled or they get fired, and but they have a plan to get money back. And um, John C. McNeely and. Um, Paul Wilson play the two Bobs, no, Bob Slidell and Bob Porter. I knew their names were Bob, but I just wanted to make sure I got their names right because you know they're they're they're, they're the, when they entered in the film, it's just it's even more hilarious just because of how like they're interviewing people and talking to people, and then the, all of this and they're like, oh, downsizing, people are going to lose their jobs. Well, well no, that's not going to happen. And it does. you got these guys making the decisions of, oh, who's going to go? You know, oh, they're, he's going, or 
Yeah, he's gonna go. Oh, well, well, he was kind of a nice guy, but. Very, uh, it's a very good film. Uh, you know, again, if you, if anybody has never seen this film before, it is really worth watching. Um, you know, uh, it did, this film didn't do very well in theaters because didn't have the proper promotion. Fox didn't seem to believe in it much, and um, also the fact that this, well, without Stephen Root, just for a moment, just ignore he is even here. The only thing that was there is this was office space, and there's this guy with uh, post-it notes all over him with glasses and a tie, and holding a briefcase. And that was the poster. And uh, when you really look at this, uh, it doesn't really. Uh, <clears throat> it really doesn't tell you anything about the movie. It's like, okay, office space, dude with a tie, glasses, and a, like a little briefcase. He works in an office. He's posted notes on him, so I guess gets a lot of messages. I guess that's like what you're supposed to take away from it, even though that's not a very good description if that is what you take away. I don't know what they were even thinking about when they did this, um, but yeah, wasn't promoted very well, and um, as a result, it uh, didn't do well at the box office, but VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray film has a cult following, and um, very deserving of it, too. Um, so, yeah, this is... Uh, so all I really have to say about it. It's a great film. Hilarious. It's 20 years old, if you didn't know that. It came out in 99, as mentioned earlier. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all I really have to say. Um, so until next time, I uh, hope you all have a great day, have a great week, great weekend. And yeah, see you all later.